What's going on, my beautiful brothers and sisters in the body of Messiah? This is Walking by Faith, and I'm coming to do another daily psalm. This daily psalm is entitled, Desire to Walk in Father's Truth. Again, Desire to Walk in Father's Truth. So here we go. Bow down thine ear, O Lord, hear me, for I am poor and needy. Preserve my soul, for I am holy. O thou, my Father, save thy servant that trusteth in thee. Be merciful unto me, O Lord, for I cry unto thee daily. Rejoice the soul of thy servant, for unto thee, O Lord, do I lift up my soul. For thou, Lord, art good and ready to forgive and plenteous in mercy unto all them that call upon thee. Give ear, O Lord, unto my prayer and attend the voice of my supplications. In the day of my trouble, I will call upon thee, for thou wilt answer me. Among the gods, there is none like unto thee, O Lord. Neither are their works like unto thy works. All nations whom thou hast made shall come and worship before thee, O Lord, and shall glorify thy name. For thou art great, thou doest wondrous things, thou art Father alone. Teach me thy way, O Lord. I will walk in thy truth, unite my heart to fear thy name. I will praise thee, O Lord, my Father, with all my heart, and I will glorify the name, thy name forevermore. For great is thy mercy towards me, and thou hast delivered my soul from the lowest hell. O Father, the proud are risen against me, and the assemblies of the violent men have sought after my soul, and have not set thee before them. But thou, O Lord, art a father full of compassion and gracious, long-suffering and plenteous in mercy and truth. O turn unto me and have mercy upon me. Give me or give thy strength unto thy servants and save the son of thine handmaid. Shew me a token for good that they which hate me may see it. And be ashamed, because thou, Lord, hast hoped me and comforted me. Amen. Ultimately, at the end of the day, Father God said that do not, <clears throat> do not return evil for evil. If your brother or your sister or your enemy transgresses against you 70 times over but then comes and asks you for forgiveness you have to forgive them 70 times over in order for father god to forgive you of your transgressions he also said that he will set a table in front of your enemies we have to push into father we have to push into Father with all our might, with all our strength, with all our being. Father God is gracious, kind, loving, and, mer and merciful, and slow to anger and slow to wrath with us. Because if he wasn't, then none of us, none of us would be here right now. None of us, because we're all of filthy uh, rags. All of us have fallen short of the glory of Father. All of us will fall seven times over. That's why we need to repent daily of sins, knowingly and unknowingly. Father God knows that we're not going to be perfect. The only person that walked this earth that was spotless and blameless and without without sin was messiah and he is the example of humility and he is the example that we need to strive 
to be like. We need to glorify Father's name daily. Not only out of our mouths, but also with our works and what we do. We need to seek after the truth. We need to not put our faith and trust in man. And we need to read Father's living word for ourselves. Because the more knowledge and the more wisdom you have up here, you'll know when you're listening to other people here on YouTube or people in church or just people in general, you'll know if they're teaching sound doctrine. But if you don't take the time to study Father's living word for yourself, then um, you'll easily be deceived and you won't know if you're hearing if you're hearing truth or if you're hearing man-made fables father god will give you the desires of your heart in abundance if it's according to his will for your life now, if you sit there and ask him that, uh, ask him to get uh, to bless you with a Mercedes Benz, yeah, no, that that's just being unrealistic. Or if you ask him to give you a million dollars or to give you a mansion, or to give you all the riches of the world, no, he won't give them to you. Well, I'm not gonna say he won't give them to you, but the but the. The, the father or the God of this world will give you anything that you want, but it's going to come with a hefty price. And that's your everlasting soul. Our father, Abba Father, on the other hand, all he asks us to do is to, to attempt to keep his commandments. And what he asks of us is not grievous at all. It's not burdensome. And um, he's not going to, he wants to see us happy. He wants, he wants to bless us and he wants to see us happy. But at the same token, he is going to test us as well. I've said it in multiple videos that this walk is not easy. When you pick up your cross and follow Messiah, it's a process. And uh, it's going to be a long and hard walk. It is not easy, and I am a walking testimony to it because I have been through my ups and my downs. I've been homeless. I slept under a bridge. I've lost everything, including my mother's ashes. I lost everything, but he's blessed me in abundance, and, and he sustained me even through the hard times, even through the times when the... The, the enemy himself has, has tried to destroy me and take everything from me. Father God still sustained me and blessed me in abundance. Even though I had many nights of being cold and, and, and uh, not being able to sleep, I praised Father God. And I, and I asked him, I prayed to him and I... I uh, sent my supplications up to him, and he has given me the desires of my heart. He's blessed me with a wife. He's blessed me with a with a son. He's blessed me with a good with a good paying job. I don't ha I don't want for anything. I don't want for anything because he has given me the desires of my heart in abundance. And all I have to do is just ask and he'll give. It goes back to that one passage of scripture in Matthew that says, um, um, Ask and ye shall receive. Seek and ye shall find. Knock and all the doors shall be opened unto you. And ultimately at the end of the day, Father God doesn't owe us anything. If anything, we owe him we owe him our lives, but he doesn't owe us anything, but he blesses us because he wants to see us happy. 
But don't feel for one second that he's entitled to do or give us anything. Because he's not. But because he is a holy father and of high statue and gracious and loving and long suffering, he, he will give us what we need. He, won't, he might not give us what we want, but he will give us what he feels that we need. He is a just father. So, with that being said, I hope you like the message. And as always, I love you as all, my brothers and sisters in Messiah. Father loves you. Father bless you. Father keep you. And I'm going to catch y'all on the next one.